Are you still looking for a job? Are you struggling to find your dream job or getting prepared for an interview? You are the right place. You don't have to look anywhere. My goal is to introduce you to tips that will help you in your job search by interviewing experts in the industry. Hi, everyone. My name is Maher from Vancouver, BC, and welcome to my YouTube channel. By the end of each interview, you will be filled with knowledge that will elevate your job search game. And that's what I am here for. And if you're watching for the first time, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel so that you get all the new interviews that I'm doing. Uh, so let's start with today's interview. Uh, although my previous uh, person that I go was going to interview uh, cancelled on me on the last minute, but I have a great person for you guys today to ask you to ask him a few questions. So I'm going to interview my unofficially <laughs> mentor Dave Ulrich who is a professor, an author, speaker, management coach, and management consultant. He's also a co-founder of the RBL Group, and he has written many HR uh, books that uh, redefined how HR professionals and organizations are working. So, Dave, welcome again to my channel. How are you doing? I'm very good, Meher, and thank you for the privilege of letting me chat with you. I uh I envy you in Vancouver, which is one of the beautiful places in the world, and uh, look forward to our conversation today. Thank you. Thank you for being with us, and I also enjoy having this conversation with you, and I'm hoping that these conversations are helping some people who are struggling or trying to find their dream job. So my first question for you, Dave, is how to stay motivated when things in life goes down or when people are applying for a job over and over, they're not getting the call or they get frustrated. How to stay motivated when, when life is not giving us the sunshine that Vancouver is giving us today? You know, Meher, I think everyone I know who's been successful or not has had disappointments. They could be disappointments in a job search, They could be disappointments in promotion and job assignments, work disappointments. Everyone I know has had some form of relationship disappointment with family or friends or social settings. And, and I think learning to turn those disappointments into opportunities applies clearly to job search, but it also applies to almost every aspect of our lives. This year I gave my wife a pillow that was embroidered. Now I clearly don't have any embroidery skills, But I had it embroidered with the, the, the saying, one of her favorite sayings, I'm not failing, I'm learning. And my sense is that mindset of turning what might be considered failure, disappointment into opportunities to learn affects all of us almost every day. So what you're saying, Dave, is that even if we don't get the job or, uh, or the call call, we should be able to learn from our, the experience that when we're applying for a job or when we're going to the interview, right? Absolutely. So, so I think after an interview where I didn't get the job, I should bluntly and honestly ask myself, did I present myself as well as I could have, knowing now what I know then, maybe why I lost the opportunity. And my experience is 60 to 70% of the time, I did my best. And if that's my best, and I did my best, let go, move on. Okay. It just didn't work. Now, the other answer could be, you know, I should have known something different. I should have done something differently. Answered the question, posed the question, done my homework, gotten more information. And then I have to say, so why didn't I do that? And how can I take that lesson mm -hmm. And apply it to the next opportunity. Yeah. Those are great tips, uh, Dave. And I would say to my audience, if you have any tips from your end on how to stay motivated or something that works for you, please leave your comments below and we'll be more than happy to answer it to them to you.